I use my Wacom Intuos Pro tablet to create this Derrick Henry intro for the NFL. If you want to learn more about drawing tablets, check out the video on the top five reasons why you should use one. I recommend the Wacom line of tablets. They're the best and have links in the description all according to your budget. We're ready to jump in and start creating and animating text. But before we do, let's strategize and let's think about the timing. Now my timeline is 29.97 frames per second. Let's round it to 30. And what I did was I worked in thirds. That means that every 10 frames, I was either cutting or changing something in my design to create this illusion of stop motion. And it's good to work in thirds or in halves. If you're working in halves, it would be every 15 frames. Now, if your timeline is 24 frames per second or 23.976, and you want to work in thirds, that would be every eight frames. If you want to work in halves, that would be every 12 frames. Anything below eight to 10 frames might be too fast for the eye to register. So I recommend at least as a starting point, work in thirds or work in halves. With that in mind, amigos, let's go ahead and let's create text. Go to the text tool click and click on the composition. Let's type in the first name of the athlete and let's go to the align panel. Let's align it right in the center, go to the character. What I'll do now is switch it to the fill so you can see it. And I'm using this font called Gotham and it's a nice fake serif font. And I'm going to see if I can find the link so you can download it. And if I do, it'll be in the description. Now, it's 350 pixels for the font size, 275 for the leading. Everything else is at the default settings and I have all caps. What we'll do is select all, let's copy and let's paste it to create three lines and let's align it vertically right here. Let's go back to the character and now let's switch it. So we only have a stroke and we have 12, you can see 12 for the width. Okay. What we'll do is the first 10 frames will have the first line filled in from frame 10 to 20. We'll have the second line and from frame 20 to one second will be the third line. And to do this, we're going to use a per character animator and I'm going to give you a crash course right now, but if you want to dive deeper into the per character animator, definitely check out my after effects master course. I go over the per character animator and teach you how to use it, how to properly understand it. For now, like I said, it's a crash course. Let's go to the fill color. And what we'll do is we'll select two of them. First opacity. And in this, in this case, we got the right color, but if you don't get the right color, you might have another color. You might need to go back, go to add and go to fill color and RGB. Let's go back to this. Let's copy and let's paste the hex code. Perfect. Now let's drill down to the range selector. Let's drill down to advanced. And what we'll do is where it says based on characters, let's switch it to lines because we're going to work by lines. Now you see the start and the end. It says zero to 100% because it is based on units of percentage. Switch it to indexed and the start and the end now went to zero to three. And the reason it's three is because we have three lines. If we had five lines, this number would be five. The current time indicator, let's move it to frame 10. And what we'll do is we'll animate these two properties. Let's start with the end. Click on the stopwatch, change it to one. Let's jump to frame 20, make this two, jump to one second. Let's change this to three. And this is what we have. This is cool, but we only want one line to be highlighted at a time. So now let's go to the start and let's add keyframes. Let's jump to frame 20 and let's make this one and let's jump to one second and let's make this two. So let's check it out. Okay. This is pretty cool, but if you want to create this illusion of hard cuts, you need to select the keyframes, right click and select toggle hold keyframes. Okay, perfect. And what we can do is we can now move these keyframes. So they line up at zero. Perfect. And then at one, let's just splice this layer. Control shift D and we'll just delete it. So this is, let's move this down here. This is what we have. 
Okay, now let's type in the last name for the athlete. Go back to the text tool. And let's align it. And what we'll do is change the endpoint. So it'll start right here, Alt left bracket. And let's make two more copies, Control D or Command D. Let's move it down and again. And we can select these and we can let's go back, select these and move it. Perfect. And this one is the one right in the middle. So put middle and let's move this above. And what we'll do is remember it, we're working in thirds. So every 10 frames, we want to do something different in our design. So what we'll do is this one will be filled in. Let's switch it. And at frame 10, let's splice it. And this new one, let's change the color to this red. And let's go to frame 20, splice. And let's copy this color. Make sure we have the right layer selected and let's paste it in. And our texture loop, let's put it all the way on the top. So it's on top of everything. And this is what we have. And amigos, there is no right or wrong way of doing this. I'm just giving you a starting point. This is for you to be creative. You can add drop shadow. You can add, for example, this one. This one, you can add a stroke and maybe you can add a drop shadow if you want. So there is no right or wrong way. This is up to you. Just be creative.